So while we were recently staying in Jaberna, we decided to go over to Cecil to have a day trip and check it out. And the plan for the day was to find a place to park and explore the town, see some of the sights and enjoy these beautiful murals. As the day became warmer, we planned to go to the beach and enjoy the beautiful water in the afternoon. So this is the second time we've visited uh, Pueblo Magico that we've gotten a police escort. We're looking for parking and this kind man is leading us to the parking lot. Gracias. <laughs> oh, awesome, I love Mexico. So today is Mother's Day in Mexico, May 10th. Celebrated two days later than we celebrated in Canada this year. And uh, seems to be some sort of celebration here. Uh, the kids are getting little presents, I'm assuming for their mom. Nice energy. So this parking lot where we've left our car, it also offers bathroom facilities and showers. Five pesos to use the toilet and 10 pesos for a shower. It's got it all. So the man came out of his house. He lives across the street from that parking lot, 15 pesos an hour. And he's like, just pay, just come to my house when you're leaving basically. Yes. And we'll find him and pay him, but a uh, very nice man. I'm loving this town already. Yes. Cecil was the main port in the Yucatan for the export of Heineken prior to the port of Progreso being built. Fuerte de Santiago was built during the colonial era to protect the port from pirate attacks, mostly English and French pirates, and the fort was built in 1596. So one of the important historical features in this town is this fort that's behind us and it's closed. It's a Tuesday today, but like I had said earlier, it is Mother's Day, so... Seems like a lot of the shops are closed too, but yeah. it is what it is. It is what it is. I really wanted to go in there, but there's other things to explore in Cecil. Vamanos. So we were just talking to our nice policeman friend, and the museum, or sorry, the fort, is closed not because of Mother's Day, but because of the pandemic. I was surprised. So, and it's been closed every day for a long while. I don't know when it'll open again, so there you go. <laughs> okay, although we're not able to get into the fort, we did find a cannon. A couple of cannons in the centro. Oh, well spotted, Richard. Is this the park in the centro of town? Next, we're off to try and find the museum. After walking past this beautiful building numerous times, we decided that this was the place we were indeed looking so, for. We think we found the museum. It's, uh, it's a neat building. There's no one here. There's a lion. So this is the former Maritime Customs building where goods in the past were stored and protected, especially Heineken, which was also called the Green Gold. And this building was constructed in 1813, and I believe in present times now, it's used as a cultural center for certain events. So there's lots of uh, tourist information places and stalls where I, get, I think normally they would sell tours, but like I said, Mother's Day, so. There's no one anywhere. Cecil is located within the El Palmer Reserve and it is possible to go out on boat trips and enjoy the beautiful nature this area has to offer. But now it's time to head to the beach. Oh yeah. What are you on, Ricky? A maker. And what is that? <laughs> it's, it's made like a, with the flowers. It's made with flower, dried flowers, and then they extract the juice from it. It's very refreshing. And sweeten of it, I think, too, mm -hmm. eh? And I, I'm a big fan of the horchata. Ricky, not so much, but uh, I just find that super refreshing, too. So, a oh. couple of drinks, and looking at this view. Another thing, some of these folks seem to have brought their own drinks and food. So you can just rent the palapa, bring your own food, drinks. You don't have to order from the restaurant. 
If you've been enjoying this video, please remember to give it a little thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please consider doing so. Gracias. Gracias. Next, we try cheese ice cream for the first time. So not, to me, it almost tastes like there's little pieces of Parmesan cheese or something in there. Isn't that good? Surprisingly good. I knew you'd love it. It's, there's like no sweetness barely at all, eh? No. Go, okay, go buy your own. <laughs> so guess who's hogging the ice cream? Good. <laughs> You're so funny. It's the most different ice cream I think I've ever had. It's uh, shredded. Sweet and savory, beautiful. Sweet and savory and shredded, tons of shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. We've found a little table here in the shade and um, it's pretty hot today. It's very hot. Not a huge variety of drinks. It's uh, Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola. <laughs> so we're going to have a Coca-Cola yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking very forward to it. It's Scorchio. Here comes the Senor with the dos Coca-Colas. Heavenly. Muchas gracias. 